it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. Maction is finally back. We've got some Wednesday night Maction between Buffalo and Northern Illinois. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. Buffalo favoring this one, minus 11. The total is 52. It's the first game of the season for both of these squads. NIU has actually won the past 10 straight uh, in this matchup, going 7-3 and three against the number. This is at NIU, so that number might look a little long, but Buffalo did end the season winning six of their last seven games. We've got Craig Trapp here uh, to talk about this one. Craig, thoughts on Buffalo in Northern Illinois? Well, remember... This is, like you said, the first game for all the MAC, and we're going to have all the teams in the MAC playing on Wednesday night uh, this week. So interesting that they decided that they're going to play all the midweek games and without fans. I'm not sure why they wanted to do the midweek games, other than I'm sure you know two or three, four of these games probably going to be on television. But to me, uh, Buffalo, one of the favorites to win uh, the MAC this year. It seems like a little too many points. I mean, you're getting above the key number of 10, and it wasn't like it came out at 10 and bet up. It was uh, came out at 11. So to me, I, I had to look at the at the total on this one, Chelsea, because if you if you give me a home underdog on these midweek games in MAC action going way back the last probably 10 years, I've had a lot of success playing underdogs. So to me, I have to look at a total here. I don't know about you. I think it seems a little fishy. And the problem for me is sometimes when lines look fishy, there's a reason they probably have it at minus 11. The odds makers know what they're doing. That being said, they can be wrong occasionally, but I think I'm staying away from this one personally. But I do think the fact that it's the first game of the season, if Buffalo comes out slow, double-digit spreads are still a, a little bit tougher to cover. Yeah, well, let's remember they were favored by 28 the last game of the regular season last year against Bowling Green, one forty-nine to 7 And Buffalo's got a lot of that offense back. I mean, they finished the year uh, in the bowl game, uh, scored 31 against Charlotte. Uh, 49 against Bowling Green and 49 against Toledo. Uh, so, I mean, this team can uh, score last year. And to, to me, I was like, hey, since I'm a little scared about the total, I'm going to go with the, or, or the side. I'm going to go with the total. I'm going to take this over. I, I, the overs were pretty good in uh, week one when we remember all the way back about, a, what, almost two months now uh, when all these teams started up in these other conferences. Uh, defenses seem to be way behind the offenses. I think Buffalo offense will put up you know, 35 plus. So I like this over. I do think um, we'll get plenty of points from Northern Illinois, even if it's in junk, uh, you know, cleanup time uh, late. I like the over here as Buffalo uh, puts up a big number. I just stand away from the side in this one. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our Buffalo and Northern Illinois talk here on Picks and Parlays. Good stuff from Craig Trapp as always.